Hey, what's up everyone? A uh, quick video today to talk about two new features I've added to Zwiftalyzer. The first is called Your Logs. This is a table of all the logs you've ever uploaded to Zwiftalyzer. A few people have asked me to implement this because they want to see the difference in performance from one game client release to the next. And also to be able to read their logs, the history of everything they've ever uploaded at a different computer, maybe at work or, or exactly what I'm doing now. Turns out it's like it's really useful because I can go in, look at a recent ride, and now use this tool to talk about performance characteristics of that ride. Like the other feature I've added, the group event information. I'm I'm toying with the idea of looking at people's logs, uh, providing feedback on them as a as a thing to do in the channel. Um, I, you never know what people find interesting. You've hustling with. Chris Eubank. <laughs> yeah. So who knows? That that could be uh, fun to do, or I don't know. Might might go, might go nowhere. Monkey tennis. It's just a bit of fun. It's a fun hobby. Okay, group events. So I pulled up the name of the event, the subgroup name, like whether you're in group A, group B, group C, group D. Start time, whether or not braking was available during that event, whether or not steering was available rubber banding V2 on or off, just simply pulled it out of the log. I'm not going to go into all the details of what that means, because to be honest, I really don't understand. I really don't understand why that would be on in a race when I, I think rubber banding is to keep the group together. And then finally, whether or not you joined the group event late. One other thing while we're here, up in the top right there, video screenshots disabled or enabled on the PC. I would advise disable video screenshots to get the maximum graphics frames performance, the maximum smoothness out of the game. There's an impact on the CPU when you've got video screenshots enabled. This seems to be on the PC only. On the Mac platform, iOS, I think that it's fine. You don't need to disable it there. Don't know. Let me know in the comments if, if you see a difference on the Mac. I don't think there is. So this is a PC recommendation only. So a short video today, that's it. Uh, please use the comment section below if there are features, ideas for features that you'd like to see added to the tool next. And please like and subscribe to support the channel. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Hope to see you out on Zwift.